Today I'm joining bear biologist Carl Lackey and his wife Heather up here in the beautiful Sierra Nevada and we're here to try and locate a bear that's in hibernation in her den. Now Carl collared the bear about a year ago and the collar has started to fail which means he now needs to find her, tranquilize her and change the collar. But first he has to get a rough idea on her whereabouts and as the GPS unit on the collar has failed, the only way to do it is take a flight. Carl's using a VHF receiver attached to two antennas either side of the helicopter. By switching between the antennas, he can get a good estimation of the collar's location once he picks up the signal. Then he'll take a GPS location reading over the area which will guide us in once we're on the ground. Using the ground GPS coordinates, we get as close as possible by truck, then it's on foot the rest of the way. We're heading up just to the top of that peak, probably over the other side, to try and locate the bear den. And today, the snow's all melted away, the sun's out, it's warmer than I thought it was gonna be. Still got a long walk. well on top of the mountain now. It's been about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters climb up here and so far we have no signal coming from the telemetry gear that would tell us where the collar is on this bear. So we're gonna climb to the top of this hill, see if we can take another reading and see if we can track it down. And finally after two hours Carl gets a signal. Pretty strong too. Yeah, not bad. It's a den. I hear the cubs. Go down and around. Get the dogs on leash. Carl's just located the den, about 10 meters behind us. He's just preparing a dart with a tranquilizer. He's gonna go down with a blowpipe. Carl has to be careful approaching the den, as the bear could fully awaken and guard its young. Once the mother's asleep, Carl crawls in to find the cubs. One little cub out of this den, which is good. It's a little female cub. She probably weighs about two pounds or so. She's wanting her mommy. She's wanting some more milk is what she's wanting. She's healthy. She looks good. She's very, very vocal. It would have been nice to, nice to see more than one cub <coughs> in here, but this is a very old female, I think. I think we aged her at 15 plus when we when we collared her in uh, in uh, April of last year, April or May? No, it was June. June. Oh yeah. Bear cubs are smaller relative to their mother size than any other placental mammal. When newly born, cubs weigh less than a pound and have virtually no fur. But by the time they reach four to six weeks old, like this little girl, their fur is nearly an inch long and their eyes are open. Once the cub is safely tucked away in Heather's shirt to keep it warm, it's time to pull mum out. Keep going. 
Since Carl last captured this bear, she's put on significant weight, which is ideal for hibernation, but makes pulling her out hard work. Once she's out of the den, Carl removes the faulty collar before taking a few measurements. 47. So how, how big was she when you... She was like 100 and, about 110 pounds when we collared her. She's gained considerable weight and this is, you know, late, toward the end of February, late in the winter. Of course, and she's only got one cub. If she had more cubs, she'd be losing more of that, but... Is this a typical den under logs like this? Oh well, yeah, yeah. They're in stuff like this. They're, they can be underneath rocks in uh, rotted out hollow trees. This is just kind of a big brush pile and she's excavated underneath it pretty well. Not much snow cover left, but that's, that's the year, I think. This is the new GPS collar that Carl's about to fit to the bear. It has a battery pack on it that should last up to about two years. A VHF transmitter for use picking up with the telemetry unit and a GPS unit. During hibernation, the collar takes a fix every 10 days, but come springtime, when the bear becomes more active, it'll change to every five hours, so Carl knows exactly where the bear is. With the new collar securely fitted, it's time to put mummy bear and baby bear back in the den. Okay, if we do that a couple more times. Progress. One, two, three. That was a real success. The mum and cub is back in the den and in about an hour and a half or so, she'll come awake. The little baby will be suckling away. Then a month or so, they'll start emerging out of their den. They'll be fine.